Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Economic Boom version 0.25. So I'm not quite ready to move over the career save to this. There's actually one more thing I want to do in the previous version of the game before I update. And uh, part of that is because one of the updates is to the SAS module that we just unlocked. So I want to complete one more mission there, and then we will update. But I did want to take a look at this. I tried to go in here before and take a look at this, but the settings weren't quite right for my recording software. I was only getting about 10 frames or so. I messed around with the settings for a while, was able to get it now. I think this is... it's, it's saying it's around 30 frames, so I think this will be better. Uh, I don't have anything here. This is an independent save. So let's just go to Sandbox. Okay, so since this is Sandbox, I can't go to here. Um, but I, I, I don't really want to go to here yet. I want to save this for when I update proper career mode. I just want to use this to look at the new parts. And since it's mostly a space plane update, let's go to the space plane hangar. So right off the bat, we see that there are two... Three. Three new command modules. This one's kind of interesting. It's a drone core that's designed to go with Mark II items, and these are Mark II cockpits. So let's grab this Mark II cockpit and build a space plane. So it looks like they reorganized everything here, which is actually really nice. All of this makes a lot more sense to have your Kerberdyne parts and then... Oh, the, the Ion engine used to be in Utility. Now it's here. That's better. It confused me the first time I played this game. I was like, oh, is this not an engine? And your solid fuel boosters are all right here. This is a much nicer organization scheme than the one they had before. And these are the new parts. Okay. Well, that's really heavy. Because this, the old jet fuel is 0.9, and I think the old liquid fuel Mark II was 1.1. So this is now ridiculously heavy. You get 600 fuel versus the 150 in here, so okay, that makes sense. Also, most of these have oxidizer in them. That's interesting. I guess you could use the short fuselage if you don't want to have a rocket that's as heavy. Let's grab one of those. Okay, but there is a part... Of course, that uh, everybody has been talking about, and that I want to look for here. I would guess it's under utility, and they updated this as well. Good, so now it's these, and then these. Yeah, this is very nice that all this stuff is organized now. Aha, here it is, the cargo bay. Uh, I I've never used mods in this game before. I know that there are plenty of mods that have cargo bays, but it's kind of new to me to have this kind of a thing. So... I don't really know how exactly that would work. I'll like try to put something in here. Uh, actually, I could go with... Okay, I could go with one of these. So that has oxidizer. And then add the bicoupler. Like that. And then I can use the rapier engines. I didn't notice any new jet engines, which is fine. I mean, this is plenty for a space plane update. Okay, so under aerodynamic, there are now... There's a new intake, and another new intake. Wow, that one... That's better than the ram air. So it looks like the delta wing has been updated. It's a little different now. And there's all these different kinds of, of wings. It, I'm guessing they all slap together to make... Like you could shape different sizes and whatnot of wings using those parts. Well, that looks kind of interesting. Uh, doesn't seem very sound, but I'll go with it. Okay, I'm not finding the standard control surface, and... I'm guessing that that means it's just been replaced by these. So the standard control service used to have a lift rating of 0.5. I guess it's this one now. Uh, 
Well, I'm not exactly sure what this thing is, but uh, it's a plane, and I'll call it that. A plane. That's that's what this is. These parts are so heavy. I'm worried these wheels won't let me be stable enough coming off the runway. I definitely need some stabilizers. Whoa! That no, that's not right. <laughs> Huh. Okay, and now let's add something to the cargo bay. Again, I don't really know how that works. And I guess I want a separator? Is that? Okay. Oh, I can show you guys the new reaction wheel that they did. So now this thing is no longer as big as the advanced inline. It's now really tiny. Like that. So that's not going to... I wanted to use those in the next rocket that I was going to make, and uh, this is a little bit small. Okay, let's put like a little tiny probe in here, and I think this is pretty much it. This is a plane. Okay, so I'll close this. Ooh. Ooh, it's animated. Or did they... Are all the things animated now, like uh, the landing gear and whatnot? If I do this and this? No, that's still not animated. Okay. I guess... I, I saw a video of the Space Planes Plus mod and it was animated there. I guess it's just that they kept it animated uh, there instead of de-animating it. Okay, well, let's go to space, hopefully. Jebediah and Bill, yeah, yeah, they can go. All right, we are here on the launch pad. Let's turn SAS on. And now I can throttle all the way up with one button. Z. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Uh, oops. That is a staging malfunction. I was firing that rocket. Okay, let's back this up. Okay, let's uh, put these down here and the separator before that rocket. Okay, that's that's more logical staging. SAS on, one button throttle up, and let's go. A bit. I didn't use struts. That probably means this isn't gonna work. Okay, let's see how good is the. Oh no no no! Oh! Uh, at least you guys get to see the. Uh... Yeah, you guys get to see the new explosions. Oh, did the probe survive? Yes, the probe survived. So I can open the cargo bay. Like that. I can still decouple. Whoa! What? I don't know what happened there. Uh, our probe is kind of pointing in the right direction, though. Let's uh, let's launch. Uh, engines are not firing. Why? Oh, did the engine blow up? No, it's still there. Activate. Go. Well, this thing flew. Okay, I can show off the new nav ball. So now, uh, oh, nope, oh. oh! What I meant to say is I can show off the new explosions again. Okay, didn't learn my lesson from, uh, 
our previous episode. Struts are the most important thing you can possibly put on any rocket, and it applies to space planes as well. Okay, with these struts, that should work a lot better. No, 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 no. Oh gosh. Uh, nope. Well, at least our probe survived again. So I guess my fears were right that these wheels, considering how much mass this thing has, isn't enough to keep this stable. So I'm going to add a couple more wheels under the wings. Okay, that should fix our stability problems. Oh, whoa. Uh, okay. We lift off yet. Oh, we did lift off. Aha! Yeah, we were still shaking a bit. I didn't use enough struts. Always gotta have more struts. But we made it into the air. Bill is freaking out, but Jebediah is happy. All is now right with the world. Alright, well, I'm going to go to space with this, but uh, space planes take forever to go to space, and I'm not going to subject you guys to that weight. So I will cut back in when we go to space or when this thing blows up. This is the one true disadvantage of space planes. They take much longer to go to space. However, they're way more efficient. I have used almost no fuel. Okay, looks like we're going to space today. And here comes the music. The other thing is this plane should be big enough to test one more feature of this new update. And if you know anything about this update, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and you also know it's not going to end very well for Bill or Jebediah. Rapier's making all kinds of weird noises. Okay, let's test this cargo bay. Not letting me stage that rocket. That seems. I, I think that might be a bug. Because no matter. Yeah. It's not letting me stage, so I have to activate it manually. There we go. We have deployed our probe. It will orbit Kerbin and do nothing because I didn't put any kind of science instrumentation on it. But it looks cool to deploy a probe from a cargo bay like that. So now I can actually show off the new nav ball. Uh, it now has all of your vectors, so you can see this is anti-normal. This is shaking a lot. Huh. But yeah, this is anti-normal, so if I fire this, it's basically telling me that I'm going to go south. This is normal. And it may not seem like a big deal when you have an equatorial orbit, but when you have a polar orbit, knowing normal and anti-normal is going to be important, because you need to know whether or not normal is toward the west or the east, and especially if you have an irregular orbit that's not polar or equatorial, it can be hard to just guess where normal and anti-normal are. And of course radial, very important, this says that I am pointing away from the surface, and this one says that I'm pointing toward the surface. And again, when you're in a normal orbit, that's not a big deal, but when you're in a very elliptical, irregular orbit, these don't always... Because they, they point to the center of your orbit, not the center of the object that you're orbiting. At least I'm pretty sure they do. I am not a scientist. I am just a guy who plays a science game. This is shaking so much. Are you cold, little buddy? Is it cold out in space? It's probably some kind of a bug. Can I go out here and look at this? Yeah, it is still shaking. 
I'm guessing it's some kind of a bug associated with the way that the whole cargo bay system works, but I could be wrong. It seems like a pretty basic design. I can't imagine that I screwed that up. So like I said, there's one more thing I want to test that is new in this update. I think this plane is big enough to do it. I would prefer to get this on the first pass, but uh, well, that might not happen. We'll get it on the next pass. What I am aiming for will still be there when we get there. It probably won't be there after I get there. So there are a few things that I didn't test. One of them is that you can now move crew without having to go out on EBA. Another one is the uh, new building, the administration building. Uh, and I will be looking at that once I update our career mode save. But we get to see all the new parts. We got to see the new explosions. And, uh, well, we're going to get to see one more thing. Bill's like, we're getting kind of low. Shouldn't we deploy the landing gear? And Jebediah's like, we don't need landing gear. And Bill's all of a sudden happy, and now he's less happy. Yeah, uh, he, I think he knows what's about to happen. So they added one more thing in this update. That wasn't enough to do it. Well, I will not be defeated so easily. Alright, max throttle, SAS on, let's go. They're all so happy to be a part of this mission. Give it time. Yeah, that's more like it. So thank you all very much for watching. My name is Youngblade. This is the Economic Boom Update 0.25. In our career mode save, I will be updating to this after our next mission. I have one more thing I want to do there. But until next time, I hope you all have a great day. I also added a new thing here.